G'day, I'm Andy Leman. I'm the designer and builder of the Greeny Flat, which is the building you can see behind me here. Uh, and you can read all about the Greeny Flat on my website at greenyflat.com.au. But we're not here today to talk about the Greeny Flat. We're here to talk about the house next door, which is right here. So the house was built in probably 1950, thereabouts. Um, it's hardwood frames, uh, old timber, double hung windows, tile roof, and, uh, and yeah, fibro with asbestos in it on the outside walls. So yeah, today we've got the blokes here uh, pulling the fibro off. You can probably see a couple of them working over there. Um, yeah, bit of rain around, but that's actually quite good because it helps keep, keep the dust down, make sure that the asbestos fibres aren't uh, getting blown around the neighbourhood. One of the nice things about this particular house is that it doesn't have any asbestos on the inside. Well, at least as far as we know, we'll, we'll be able to confirm that when the inspector comes this afternoon. But um, that allows us to take all the fibro off, get rid of the asbestos. Now, and then, as you can see, the, the wall frames are exposed, so we'll be able to insulate the walls from the outside. Uh, replace all, we're going to replace all the windows with double glazing and then we'll um, reclad the house um, and later on we've got some work to do on the inside we're going to move the kitchen and do some things like that and then uh, eventually we'll replace the roof with colour bond and put solar panels on the roof so this is the, the start today so let's hope it all goes well so here you can see how the whole house used to look with the fibro on the outside and here are the boys taking off the fibro, exposing the frames and they take it off in as big a sheets as they can and carry it back to the truck which was parked in the driveway and then when they're all finished taking the fibro off, cleaned everything up and then they're painting the face of the frames with a, with a bit of PVA glue and that binds all the fibres in place. asbestos. Andy here again. Today is day two of our energy retrofit project. As you can see from the house Behind me, uh, yesterday we managed to get all of the asbestos off the house and uh, we had the inspector come and, and give a clearance, what's called a clearance for the asbestos. It means that we, we're now uh, certified that we have no asbestos in the house, which is great. Um, thankfully the rain stopped. It's, uh, it's kind of chilly here, but, uh, but that's fine as long as the walls aren't getting wet. Um, so today we're going to start on, uh, we've got some electrical wiring to do while the walls are exposed and um, then since we've done the wiring we can start putting in insulation and then wrapping the building with sarking. Um, so we'll do that, we'll go all the way around the building doing the insulation and sarking and then uh, that'll get us sort of fairly waterproof. We're still waiting on the windows to arrive. We're going to be replacing all the windows with double glazing, and um, they're being made as we speak. So uh, probably got a couple of weeks until they're ready. And um, so we'll get the sarking on, then the windows will go in, and then we'll be able to reclad. Time for a quick trip to the local bunning store, and uh, came here to get some insulation for the walls. So. Looking through the packs of different kinds of uh, earth wool insulation. So the one we're uh, going to use is this one here, which is a uh, 2.5. Here you see Daniel and George working on installing the insulation. The, uh, the earth wool insulation is made of recycled glass bottles. And it's much nicer to work with than a lot of types of insulation doesn't make it nearly as itchy or make you cough like some but it's still a good idea to wear a mask and gloves you can see George there is doing a beautiful job of installing the 
fiberglass with, with no gaps or, or cracks around, nowhere for heat to leak out. And over the top of that we're putting this hardy wrap which is a reflective waterproof and vapor permeable sarking which help keep the building cool in summer and protect it from moisture problems. Thanks for watching and you can find more information at greenyflat.com.au